meant to be breeders. Nothing says we have to have children, am I right? You don't want to have children? No, I, I, I do, definitely. Like, someday. Me too. I want to have a very big family, just not yet. But come on, can't you picture a bunch of little errands running around, giving goofy handshakes? Yeah, I could say that. All in their little suits. <laughs> You know, it's funny, my ex always used to tell me... Oh no, you don't. <laughs> oh no, I don't love the game. Dude, dude, we've been over this like a hundred times. You never, ever bring up the ex on the first date. Why not? Allison was such a huge part of my life. There's just no way to exclude me from the conversation. <laughs> no, no, no! What is she doing here? You gotta get her out of your head, Aaron. I'm begging you, this is not the time to be thinking about Allison. Guess he can't help himself, Gabe. I'm simply too wonderful. You're too wonderful. You look buff, you've been working out, babe. Oh, your hotness is making me weak. Love the haircut, I love the suit. You're a walking example of chic. You're the handsomest man in this restaurant, like a model. GQ. You are also the world's greatest lover. So rip off my clothes, spread my legs, have your way with me. Oh, how I crave you. Bullshit! Rip off my clothes, have your way with me. This is not what Allison would say, and you know it. Now, what, what would you really say to you? No, your cousin Jimmy's bar mitzvah. <laughs> well, I guess it went something a little more like this. Allison, want to have sex? Sorry, no can do. You know the rules. Once the retainers go in, the vajayjay's off limits. <laughs> exactly. Don't you see? The real Allison is not the way you choose to remember her. The real Allison is a frigid, emotionally manipulative wench. You have to permanently erase from your thoughts so you can finally move on. Fine. Gone. Out of my head. No more Allison. Now, what am I supposed to do about my date? Because, well, thankfully you've got your best friend here to help you through this. Now, Aaron, do I get ass? Yeah. And I'm going to help you get some, too. But only if you listen to him consigliere. Now, remember, when you talk about the ex, you can forget about sex. Got it? Got it. Your ex always used to say to you, what? Oh, not much. Nothing at all, actually. Uh, she was uh, a, a mime. Uh, <laughs> a mute. Can we please talk about something else? Absolutely. Let's refocus. Now, I know men love to talk about work, so why don't you regale me with tales and delightful anecdotes about that? No problemo. What would you like to know? Well, what exactly is it? Corporate finance, investment banking, and occasionally I fiddle around with mergers and acquisitions. Sounds riveting. Here you go. Thanks. Okay, so it might not be the most sexy or fascinating job on the planet, but it pays the bills. Yeah, but does it fulfill your soul? It fulfills my soul purpose of making money. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. So you're one of those, are you? Is that what it's all about for you, the cashola? It is for now. What's it all about for you? I think Kevin might have said you work at an art gallery. Has that always been your lifelong ambition? No, but at least it's creative and it allows me to study my craft. Which is? Photography. Oh, you're a photographer. Yeah. No. I dabble. I use to dabble. I own a camera. <laughs> So, what sort of other work do you do at the gallery? Do you pick out all the pieces yourself? Sometimes. Why? Only because I thought Damien Hurst exhibit was awesome. Thanks. How did you know about that? I might have done some research online before our date. You googled me. Yes, I googled you. I had to know at least a little bit of what I was getting into before meeting you. <laughs> what else did you find out? What didn't he find out? Oh my god. Google, you're here again? Why do you always have to ruin everything? Because
because I'm the world's number one search engine. That's why. And Casey, you know exactly all that he uncovered. Your dirty secrets aren't safe with me. Mistakes that you would better undiscover. I display them all for all to see. Like the time that you were kicked out of the Girl Scouts. Or got I with your boyfriend in a church. Or how you were thrown in jail trying to save a sea world free. Are you okay? 
meaningful, like I have this Kevin or not? Sure, I mean, in theory. Then you gotta take it slow, because landing a quality guy is a marathon, not a sprint to fuck county. Well, whatever it is you're doing, keep on doing it, because you might actually have a chance with this one. I know, I'm as shocked as you are. <laughs> well, here you go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So, anything jumping out at you? I'm not sure. The Chargirl burger with rub four cheese and shoestring french fries looks pretty amazing. It sure does if you're trying to make weight right before a big sumo wrestling competition, <laughs> but not on a first date. Why not? It shows him that I am confident with my body and that I don't have any weird eating issues. No, it shows him that you have an unusually healthy appetite and that one day all of this is going to go away and you're going to end up on The Biggest Loser, G.I. Wonder Why I'm Still Single Edition. That is ridiculous. Guys, don't think like that. I'm getting the burger. What are you going to get? I was thinking maybe the chopped salad? No, fuck you. You're not getting that. <laughs> Why? What's the big deal? Salads are for pussies. You're getting the burger. Rare. But I want a salad. And I want Megan Fox. But you know how I'm not getting her? by ordering the sissy salad with my balls on the side on our very first date. <laughs> You're insane. I'm not listening to you. I want a chopped salad. I'm getting the chopped salad. So, made any decisions? I'll have the chopped salad, please. And I'll have the burger. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I thought you were going to get the burger. You didn't just order the salad for my benefit, did you? Of course not. Why would I do that? Well, you know, a lot of girls think that they need to order a salad on the first date show a guy they care about their body or whatever, which I think is completely ridiculous. You do? Yeah, I'd rather a girl order some meat and potatoes. Really get in there. But that's just my preference. You mean to tell me that you don't care about what a girl looks like? Not really, no. I just rather she was happy. For real? I mean it, honestly. At the end of the day, looks go. But if you have things in common and can still make each other laugh, that's what really matters. You've got to be kidding me. You're not falling this bollocks, are you? <laughs> oh my god. You guys have no right to get in the middle of this. We have every right to get in the middle of this. We're your past and your future love. Okay, love. You guys must find a very specific need at a very specific time in my life. That phase. me. Hey. 
Jamaica. Her neighbor over and up, but it changed our relationship in a bad way, so. Look, Aaron, I appreciate the effort, I really, really do, but I think that before this date goes any further, we're just gonna have to agree that this isn't a love connection. Uh, but, I mean. Look, you're a really great guy, and I'm sure that somewhere out there is the perfect girl for you. I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is. Okay. Did I miss something? Because I was under the impression that this date was going pretty well. Sorry. I'm sorry. One more time. You really want to be my I'm a friend. I really want to be your friend. Huh. Well, thank you, Casey, for that offer. That's definitely something to think about. I mean, who doesn't want more friends? Because friends, you know, are really the flowers in the garden of life. So let's just Add that seed of friendship and see how it. Uh, I'm sorry. Will you excuse me for a moment? I gotta run to the bathroom. Try to drown myself <coughs> in the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing? You totally sabotage! 